As you continue to progress in your horsemanship, we need to have an understanding of diagonals and what that means. Now diagonals pertain to when a horse is trotting and when we are posting at that trot, how we rise and fall in the saddle. And being aware of diagonals is important mainly so that we ride our horse balanced, so that we are not rising and falling on the same diagonal and the same footballs every single time. So as a general rule, my little daughter Sarah taught me this years ago, she said, Dad, we rise and fall with the shoulder on the wall. And that's a pretty good rule of thumb. So if I'm traveling along the rail to the left, when my horse's right shoulder, the one closest to the wall or fence, is forward, my butt is going to be in the air. And if I go through the middle and change directions, I'm going to sit down one stride and get on the other diagonal. So if I'm going around to the right, when my horse's left shoulder is forward, then my butt is in the air. Now this will help keep our horse balanced. Uh, and it'll help especially when we start asking our horse to canter or lope off and just keep our horse, uh, as far as his muscular system is concerned, uh, keep it balanced in the fact that we're not building up one side and causing one side to be a little bit weaker. It's all about balance. Now to change, from one diagonal to the other, it happens very quickly. As I ride my horse around the arena, this is whiz here, and as I trot through the middle, you watch just one stride as I come through the middle, I just skip a beat. I just sit down for that one stride. Now, if you're just getting started on this, you're gonna think about it, and you can't hardly think about it fast enough. If you think about it, then you probably sat down for two strides and you're too late. If you're not quite sure what diagonal you're on, just take a look down at your horse's shoulder. See when that outside shoulder is reaching forward and then see if you can't get your butt in the air at that stride. And it happens again pretty quickly. It's up, down, up, down, up, down, rise and fall with the shoulder on the wall. This would be a great opportunity to have a friend help you, to spot you and, and say, there, you've got it. Or if you're not quite sure, they can start helping you with the cadence and start saying up, 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 and help you get in with that rhythm. Rise and fall with the shoulder on the wall. If you're not thinking about it, and you've been posting for a long time, chances are you've kind of gotten one-sided where you just pick up one lead over the other. Now, I went a lot of years thinking I understood what diagonal I was on, but I really didn't. I was just getting the same diagonal every time, no matter which way my horse was going. Finally, someone pointed out to me what was happening, so I made a, a diligent effort to start figuring it out. And I was very comfortable posting on the one diagonal, but very uncomfortable on the other, like being left or right-handed. So it took a lot of self-discipline for me over the next 30, 60, 90 days to spend an equal amount of time on that opposite diagonal until it became more natural. And I'm probably not completely balanced even today. I probably tend to favor one diagonal more than the other, but I'm almost balanced because I've really worked at it. So I want you to work at it. Get aware of it. Rise and fall with the shoulder on the wall. Think about when that outside shoulder is reaching forward and getting in rhythm with that stride and switching from one diagonal to the other. Your horse will be more balanced and you'll be a better horseman. And we're really talking about helping our horse physically because if you're on the same diagonal all the time, that means you're coming down on that same stride on that same side. And so that horse is going to become unbalanced. He's going to build up one side and have the other side weaker. But if we will spend some time, if we're going to the right, being on the right diagonal, if we're going on the left, being on the left diagonal, then we'll create that balance that we're looking for. And you'll find it'll help you as you start doing more canter departures and wanting to pick up your left lead and right lead because you've helped that horse physically stay equal on both sides. Mm -hmm.